Hello, this is a quick video on how to use the Memphis search functionality on our website. So first thing first, you'll click through onto the Memphis part of the website and you can get to it either by clicking Memphis here or at any point via the menu, clicking through to Memphis. Um, names, numbers and emails are currently starred out just for privacy, um, but in your screens you should be able to see them so you can Use the search here to search on name, phone number, or email address, and it should filter the list for you. You should see the name the row, the squads the row might be a part of, their balance, their phone number, and their email. If you click on either of these, it will copy the values to your clipboard so you can use it in your phone or as a copy and paste job for an email. You can use a directory just to quickly narrow down. This is based on people's first names. So you give you only people whose names begin with M and so on. So that's all. Now you can also use the filters. So by default, the first one is squads. So if you only want to see people in the Masters Men squad, you could do so. Um, So there is a little subtlety around private squads. So private squads are currently the junior squads. Um, so if you happen to filter on these, even if I'd had the stars turned off, I actually wouldn't be able to see the names or copy the contact information of these people, unless I happen to be one of the members within that squad. So this is something only the membership secretary can sort out at the moment. It just means juniors can have the information of other juniors, but this can't be accessed by anyone outside of those squads. Um, and that's it for the squads. For the balance, so this is normally really intended for squad captains, so they can have a quick look at people who generally who are in the black, so they can start to say, come on, you need to put money in your account before you start racing. And finally, membership, and this is just a quick view for everyone really to see what membership types people are on, how many people are on different membership types, and so on. I'll just quickly show you this in our mobile view. So it's pretty much identical. You have a list of people, the directory we should scan below, and the search. Um, so there's four, it's just the filters are slightly not hidden away, but made a bit easier to view. So you can filter by your score or quick out and filter by the other two things. And that is our contact members.